Could the market finally be shifting in buyer's favor? Several numbers jump out at me, and make sure you watch till the end, because if I were buying a home, I would be out there looking at homes right now. Hi, I'm Realtor Scott Tompkins right here in beautiful Olympia, Washington, and here are my key takeaways about the real estate market in Thurston County for July 2024. We had about 10% more new listings come to market this month than last year. Our number of active listings is also up significantly over this month in 2023. The number of pending sales is down slightly from last year, and so is the number of closed transactions down by about 6%. This month, our months of inventory increased to 1.76 months of supply. This means it would take under two months to sell all the available homes. This number has continued to creep up in the last several months. Homes are also spending longer on the market. In July, sellers accepted an offer in about 29 days. Last year, it was 20 days, and just last month, it was 23 days. For July, about half of buyers used conventional financing, 8% used FHA financing, and about 18% paid all cash, which is higher than usual. Just 19% of buyers used VA loans. This usually comes in between 23 and 27%, so VA loans were light this month. Sellers in July received 100% of the listing price, down 0.7% from last year. After four months in a row at $510,000, the median sales price inched up to $515,000, up 3.6% from last year. Remember that median is the middle price where half the homes sold for less and half sold for more. Our average sales price for July was just over $560,000, also up 3.4% from last year. Again, around half of sellers offered some type of seller concessions, such as assistance with the buyer's closing costs. Pay attention to this next one. Almost 27% of sellers who closed in July had to reduce the listing price of their home. 27%. My take, I don't have a crystal ball, but if I were buying, I would be out looking at homes right now, and here's why. We've recently seen more homes come to market, and they're taking longer to sell and selling for less. Many sellers are continuing to offer concessions to buyers, and nearly 27% of sellers in July had to reduce the asking price to get their home sold. You've probably seen lots of discussion about mortgage rates coming down. As of today, they're at the lowest they've been this year. You are not the only one who knows this. Because lots of buyers have been patiently waiting on the sidelines, I expect that we're going to see buyers re-enter the market, pushing demand and prices up. Yes, lower interest rates are good news, but if we find ourselves back in a market like that of two years ago, where other buyers bid up the price of homes, and buyers felt they had to waive basic protections like inspections, this can very easily erase those savings from lower rates. If you're thinking about buying a home in the next year, make sure you watch my new home buyer education video series, Home Buying Unboxed, Fresh Tips for Home Buyers, and please remember to like and subscribe. Thanks for watching and happy house hunting.